2020. Okay, so let's go back. Yeah, here itself you can see customer has requested 20 quantity, but system is showing we can only allocate 15 quantity. Why? Why we are saying the customer uh, the customer will only get 15 quantity because if you see here this customer okay you can see this particular customer is only allowed to consume 15 quantities of this particular material okay and you will be able to see here in product allocation it will clearly tell you what is happening in the background so it is clearly telling you that on this plant delivery date Although customer has asked for 20 units, but we can only provide 15 units to this customer. Uh, the reason uh, why 15 quantity is allocated because it is a restricted availability. Okay, maybe I'll explain in the video, but just understand it was a restricted availability. If it is not restricted, then we can go beyond that also. But if it is a restricted availability, we cannot go beyond the quantity which is entered in that product allocation okay so this is how this product allocation works one more thing which i want to show you is now see 15 quantity we can give to this customer for april but let's assume that customer is also not given any sales order in the month of march so this customer already has his quota available in the month of March also. Let's say he has directly given the order in the month of April. Okay, and we want to give this much amount. So we want to allocate 20 plus 15, 35, total quantity of 35 to this customer. In that case, what we need to do is we need to tell the system, whenever system is performing the product availability check, in the product allocation system should also check if the customer has some quantity available in the previous month or in the next month also okay so what we can do is in this next activity what we need to do is you need to tell the system see as of now backward consumption zero forward consumption zero what do you mean by this this means that the quantity will be checked only in the same month it is only being checked in the April month. But if I want to check in the previous one month and in the next one month. So not only whenever I'm getting the order from the customer in the month of April, if I also want to check if the quantity is available in March and in May, I want to consider all those, then I will go one one. If you want, you can go two, two, three, three, whatever is up to you. Okay, so I'm just keeping one one. And now I will proceed with the same sales order. So what I'll do is I'll perform the availability check once again. Okay, let's click on this availability check button once again and see if there is any change now. Check item availability. Now you can see system is giving entire 20 quantity. How? You click on product allocation, it will clearly tell you that system is also checking the backward consumption of one month and forward consumption of one month okay so total how much we can give to this customer depends upon how much quantity we have in the month of march month of april and month of may okay so total quantity that we can give to this customer is 40 plus 15 55 75 let's try to create a sales order with more than okay first let's try to do this as 50 and see whether we are able to deliver this to the customer or not so first i'm changing this to 50. enter just click on product allocation and see you can see 35 till the month of april and remaining 15 system is giving in the month of may on the month of may although we are delivering this everything to the customer on april but the quota is coming from the month of May. Okay, and if I try to give anything more than 75, if I try to change the quantity to 70, more than 75, let's keep it as 80 and try to 
perform the availability check no. you can see it's only able to give up to 75 yes sir yeah uh, you said that uh, you will be able to deliver 50 on today date but uh, here i can see there are two proposed schedule like right right so right. that was wrong. So you and i even have it, that is wrong because the confirmation date system is proposing in the next month only correct so you will be able to give 35 only in today's date and uh, remaining on the next um, uh, availability date that right, is 15 right. Right. Ah. Okay. System is not able to give the complete eighty quantity because even if I go and perform this calculation, it is only seventy five. I cannot give more than seventy five. Okay. Now, why I am not able to give more than seventy five? Because it is a restricted availability. So even this plays a very important role. Okay. Here also constraint status. You can tell the system whether it is. restricted or unrestricted if it is unrestricted this means that this customer will get even more quantity than he asked but if it is restricted restricted means i don't want to give this customer more than what i already provided what is already allocated here okay so this is also a very important thing that is called as constraint status which tells the system how much quantity is allocated and whether it is allowed to give more quantity to this customer or not okay let's try with this customer now so this customer is not having restricted availability let's see what happens so what i'll do is i will remove this sales order i will create another sales order ba01 only one change that i want to do here is i want to change the customer number so it is the next one only i'll just remove zero and enter one This is my customer reference number. This is my PO number, payment term, inco term. This one material. This is our material. And what I will try to do now is twenty plus twenty five equal to forty five plus twenty sixty five. I will try to create a sales order of seventy. Okay, for the same plant, which is this one, and this much amount. Okay, so see, system is only able to give how much? System is only able to give forty-five. Let's see how. Let's go to the product allocation. So, although customer has requested seventy quantity, but system is only able to deliver forty-five. Let's try to understand why it is forty-five. So, it is twenty plus twenty-five, which is equal to forty-five, and this twenty system is not able to deliver because the sequence that we are using is as in sequence constraint okay which means it will not go and check the further one it will only check whatever is available till today so sequence constraint is uh, in addition to restricted unrestricted you can create a sequence so th how this pl objects will work that is a sequence but normally we don't use the sequence constraint that is provided by system directly so normally we enter either restricted or unrestricted if we are going with unrestricted what will happen system will be able to confirm 20 plus 25 plus 20 so 65 units okay but if it is restricted availability as i told you system will not allow you to give anything more than whatever has been provided in this table sorry my mistake uh, uh, hello i think the problem is with this message uh see like uh, now we have minimum 20 we have to give that is uh, the constraint which we have created for uh, that specific customer for a specific month so what if if we if i want if an order comes beyond 20 it should pick up from the general pool stock uh no sorry can you come again now like we have restricted like a sequence restriction like two types of restrictions we have seen are restricted and one more is sequence thing, right don't worry about sequence don't worry about okay. sequence okay. okay we'll we'll not worry about that like we say for example i have uh, uh, allocated only 20 uh, units for that specific month for the customer the order come uh, i'll not do the back order or forward ordering assume like this is the okay. first month i am creating i am giving minimum Uh, see whatever quantity he orders 
I need to allocate him, but minimum is 20 for him. Okay. It is unrestricted. Unrestricted, like 20. So later All he right. may order 25. If it is available in the general pool, I want to use that five quantity and allocate the order. In such case, what should I do? So unrestricted. You need to enter the unrestricted here. Okay. If you enter unrestricted. Yeah, unrestricted, if, if I provide the, unrestricted and 20, so 20 will be allocated to him. If anything is available in the general pool, then it picks that five and allocates. That's what you meant, sir. That is the reason it is unrestricted. So it is not restricting to 20. If but more material is available, more than that. Okay. So at the same time, in, in a specific month, if that person doesn't consume, like and mm -hmm. even in the future also in one or two months he is not consumed or like he may not order further also will that uh, stock automatically moves to the general pool or manually we have to move it to the general pool that stock so that somebody some other customer can consume it now see what system will do is system will automatically block this particular this one for uh, the customer but if you want to do it manually you can do it you can utilize the Talk which was not used by the particular customer. So we need to release manually, right? There is no auto right. option as such, right? Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, Vikram. Sales the system. Yeah. Hello. Yes, Akshay. Uh, let's say we have allocated 20 quantity for the uh, 90 customer, the customer number 90. Okay, and there is uh, uh, another customer which we have not maintained here, which is in general pool. Okay, but he has ordered some hundred quantity. Okay, so uh, we have only hundred quantity, and he's ordered hundred quantity, and he falls under win category. So which take precedence? Uh, whether the product allocation, we have 20 uh, order 20, we have created, and now it will go to win or we have restricted for my product allocated for the customer so it should go to product allocation no 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 see first of all uh, you are combining both right back order processing and product allocation so yes, then will be possibility that's right okay huh. right i'll come to that so whenever hmm. you are executing the back order processing based on restricted availability or unrestricted availability system will give the preference again based on restricted and unrestricted that is one thing based on the delivery uh, sorry based on the confirmation strategy also it will impact what is the confirmation strategy of this customer okay so, so in short these two things are different see take thing performed yeah let's let's understand one more thing this product allocation is normally performed at the time of sales order creation while back order processing will not consider the product allocation at all when you are executing the back order processing it is basically based on the confirmation strategies which is executed after the product is already allocated hmm. okay okay <laughs> so definitely it will fetch all the quantity from the this order possible if, if there is confirmation strategy is in loose or something then it will definitely pick the quantity okay okay if it is win customer if it is gain customer then it will not lose the quantity what has been allocated okay so i got the basic difference the it is on the sales order creation level and that is after there is some back orders are there then only that will uh, create uh, back order processing will be scenario exactly exactly okay okay amount let's try to understand why it is 45 65 which is 20 plus 25 plus 20 65 because earlier what i have done is i told the system this one so it was only checking one month back uh, forward it was not able to go at this level but if i change the delivery date it is taking one month backward and one month forward so it is total 65 quantity which can be delivered to this particular Customer, because earlier uh, what to understand the delivery date. Why it was so, taking 45? That was my mistake. Let's go back. Click on. It was showing 45 because the date which we selected earlier was 30, and it was just considering the March and April. It was not considering the May month. 